Hey, what's up, everybody? I thought I would shoot a follow-up video to Schlitz Creek, a disc golf documentary. Um, this is just a little recap video of, of myself. Introduction to me, saying hello to all of you, all these new subscribers, all these new viewers. It has been amazing the past two weeks since I've dropped this video. In two short weeks, there's al already been like 10,000 views, over like a thousand hours of watch time, and we're almost to 500 subscribers in, in a very short amount of time. And I'm so glad that there are eyes getting on this piece. It's been the best thing that I've ever done so far. It's a piece of work that I'm super proud of. I worked really hard on it and it's essentially a passion project in every sense of the word. I did everything myself. I shot everything. I edited everything. And it took me a while to put it together just because I was just juggling so many things on my plate. Um, but I'm glad that it's out there. I'm also super glad that I I did a live event before the YouTube drop. So in case you didn't know, in case you're not from the area, I, I rented out a movie theater and I had a movie premiere event for everyone in the local community. Uh, they all came out to the theater. I had a food truck, we had snacks, we had beer, full bar. Of course, we needed to have a full bar. It seated over a hundred people. Everyone had a amazing time. I can't wait to see the video for that event. Now, obviously, I couldn't shoot my own event while running it and being in it, but um, I got my, my buddy, Parker Titel, to help me out with that. He does great work, so check out PT Productions on that. I just wanted to give out some amazing support from the community, and I'm, I'm glad that people were totally on board with my crazy idea to have a disc golf movie premiere. Um, so for those of you that know me, I'm Ryan Aquino, owner-operator of Disc Golf Digest. Now, Disc Golf Digest is something that I've created just because I, I love disc golf. I've been playing disc golf since I was 16 years old. I've been a professional editor and shooter since about 2005. I kind of became a shooter out of necessity. My main job is, is I'm an editor. In, in disc golf media, you have to kind of wear a lot of hats, so I kind of taught myself to shoot. I taught myself to to shoot video and there's there's tons of disc golf media companies now you got your jomez your gk pro your gatekeeper etc but what i'm trying to do is just carve out my own little niche like i'm not here to do shot by shot coverage i'm not here to do commentary i'm i'm kind of out here to to tell stories i love to tell stories about interesting people in the community there are so many different stories to tell within the community, uh, whether that be people putting on leagues in downtown Chicago, people installing new courses into places that there haven't been, people restoring old courses to to its former glory, to your local pro winning a Disc Golf Pro Tour event in front of the hometown crowd. I love to tell stories. I love to hear people tell me those stories, and I want to put it out on on film. So I love I love inter interviewing players, people. Tell me something cool. That is what drives everything that I do. These stories and people, they're my motivation, they're my inspiration, and to see the passion in course cleanups, being amazing TDs, dying discs, whatever. Videos are what bring me my passion, and the people and the community are the reason that I keep doing this. Now, I, I kind of got to get into more of a rhythm to be putting my own self on camera because that is something that I'm not used to. I'm not even used to really talking that much. Then you can kind of see it in my in my work. If you click through a couple of the videos um, on my page, there's a handful of like mini documentaries and such, and I'm never on there because I kind of use the, the interviewee as the narrator. I've kind of got into a point where like I think I need to start putting my face out there and we'll see how it we'll see how it goes from there um, I'm not out here trying to be Jomez disc golf network whatever I'm just trying to do what I love to do and what I love to do is tell incredible stories because disc golf is filled with it let me give you a little brief rundown on what I do also for disc golf I also work for disc golf network I edit a show it's called The Scramble. It's kind of like a 30 minute rundown of all the Elite Series events 
uh, that go on this year. If you have Disc Golf Network, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. So check out the scramble on Disc Golf Network. Let me know what you think. I get a lot of motivation from a lot of places. I'm so glad that the disc golf scene is what it is because I can't imagine a better group of people than to throw discs with. So here's my goal in this channel. The thing that gets me hyped up is that anyone can make a video, but to create a connection with an audience, a real human emotion, a feeling, that's how I know that I've succeeded. And this is not the end for me. We're just getting started, and I'm so glad that all of you are here for the ride. Uh, I'm so glad to have the disc golf community supporting me, and if this is any indication of what the future holds, then we're in for a wild ride. Let me know what you think in the comments, what types of videos you want to see from me in the future. Hit like and subscribe. See ya.